A few weeks ago, I did a video on how to turn almost any image into a Cricut cut file. I had a, some microphone issues that have since been resolved, so I'm redoing the video. And I just wanted to show you, you can take almost any image. In my last video, I used a t-shirt that I grabbed out of my closet. And I, you know, I wanted to make a, a picture frame for my home office. And so today I'm wanting to make another picture frame for my home office. So we are going to go over here and you can use any photo editor you want. I personally like this one. It's iPicky.com. To me, it's like a user-friendly Photoshop. You can do just about almost all the features, you know, maybe than you can on Photoshop. So we are going to go and we're going to add an image and I, I, I like planners. And I love the planner I have. It has a lot of inspirational quotes on it. And so I, there was a quote in the month of July that I absolutely loved. And I would like to take that and, you know, take the wording and make a picture out of it. I'm going to create a stencil. So I took this picture and it, this is, was laying on my kitchen table. And I love what it says. Joy is in the journey, not the destination. So I love that quote so much that I would like to take this and turn it into a cut file so that I can make a stencil and, you know, paint it and frame it. So we only need the crop feature on this. And we're going to get it as close as we possibly can. Okay, we're going to click apply. Okay, so here is the picture. We are going to save this. to our desktop and we can now close this out. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to Cricut Design Space and we are going to upload that image that I took on my kitchen table right from my planner. And here it is over here. We're going to click on Simple Image. And is what we want to do is we want to take out everything that we do not want to cut. So I use these two tools. I toggle back and forth from the Eraser button to the Select and Erase. So the first thing I'm going to do is Select and Erase. And we're, I took out most of the background. We can use the eraser tool for some of this. And this goes pretty quickly. I just did something, hang on. So I'm basically just erasing this little bit of background that was left over. We don't need any of that. I just want the quote.
Okay. We want to also uh, pay special attention to these little bitty in-between places. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And there's these little places that are in between here, like the O and the S, and we need to take those out as well. So we're going to click here and just we're taking out everything that we do not want to cut. And if you mess up and ac accidentally hit something, you can always hit the undo button and it'll take you back to the last place. Okay, so let's go jump over and see what it looks like. We're going to click continue. And over here on the right, this is our cut file. So we are going to go ahead and click save. There's still a few little patchy spots that I could go out, but I'm not going to bore you with taking all those out for this video. So we're going to click save. Okay. Now we're going to jump back over to the Cricut Design Space uh, main area here, and we're going to upload this image. And this is our cut file. So this just shows you how easy it really is to take a picture of something and you know, just email it to yourself, you know, upload it, and then you can take it. So I'm going to make a picture frame out of this for my home office. I love a lot of motivational things. Another thing I want to mention is you do not want to violate any copyright laws. You know, this is for personal use. It's going to be in my home, but you don't want to violate any laws and, um, you know, get in trouble. So I wouldn't use any name brand of anything and sell it is what I'm trying to say here. So this is just something that I'm going to do, you know, and then you can resize this however you want, you know, however big you want to make it. And I think this is just going to look great in my office. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Also the bell notification. Uh, so that you will get notified whenever um, I make future videos. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks, and I hope everyone has a great day.